What's up? What's up? What's up? How you doing? It's me, Raven. What's going on? What's good? How you been? Oh, you get it in. So that's good for you. What's going on, people? <laughs> okay, I want to talk in reference to, oh, it is going to be another day outside. Now, honey, it is going to be fierce. It's going to be nice and hot. Whew. So, you know, mother has lived, honey. I got to get up really early so I could get this you know, this video done because it's going to be hot. And besides that, you know, the bathroom become very fierce, honey. It becomes so fierce and hot inside of here. So you already know. Anyway, so I'm just trying to get myself all perked up together before the sweat start, honey. Because, you know, mother has lived, honey. Whoa. And get my little deacon tissue. <laughs> Woo. Anyway, it is what it is. Um, I want to talk to you in reference to... Hmm. <sighs> I want to talk to you in reference to, um, okay, this is a video about performance, and when I say performance, I mean as far as, okay, I mean performance as far as you being a performer, and you perform all over and stuff like that, and this is the way you make your money and stuff like that, so that being said, I just want to give you a message today. And this message is to let you know one thing, and if nothing else, political and all that BS that you know that you go through and stuff like that, mother's trying to get it together for you, because we want the kids showing you all too much, because it is what it is. Anyway, so the thing about it is, my this thing to me that I want to get out to you is the experience that I once experienced, and I want you to know. Okay, this is it. And I can't make this video too long because mother's on a heat timer. Anyway, so this is what I wanted to share with you. Okay, once upon a time, I used to hang out with these girls. And we were, this is back in the, you know, performance days of drag queens, you know, just trying to get it all in for pageant girls and, you know, all that type of stuff and stuff like that. You know, so what happened was my girlfriend called me up and she was like, girl, you be wearing some nice hair and you wear nice clothes. I was like, well, girl, this is what you do. You, when you're ready to come on over here, just come on over, girl, and I'll help you get your gear and everything up. You know, whatever you want to go, I'll show you little hot spots and stuff like that, you know, so you can get your stuff together and stuff like that. So what happened was I stood up there and everything, and I she came, she came to my house, and she picked me up in a car, and we actually went to a couple locations. We got wigs, and we had girl talk, honey. We were just, oh. It was like a grand old time. We was like bonding. She called me over to come to her house for a cookout. Honey, I went to a cookout for a bunch of other beautiful people inside. I mean, it was just like a wonderful experience. You know, it's good to have good friends. You know, and I'll say that again. It's good to have good friends. I'll say that again. It's good to have good friends. And I'll tell you why in this video. Because of the simple fact of the matter is that I said, she was my friend, hey, why not be hers? So what happened was a friend of mine called me and he was like, well, Raven, you know, I have this place that I'm opening up and I would like you to host it. He said, but you don't speak Spanish. He said, you know, you may look a little Spanish or a lot of, or Dominican or whatever the case may be. He said, you don't speak Spanish. So I was like, no, I don't. He's like, but damn, if you know anything in Spanish, I said, yeah, I know a little bit. I said, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's what they want to hear. <laughs> you know, when a girl learns something, they learn the bad words. It is what it is. Anyway. So what happened was, I sit up there and everything, and I called her up, and um, I was like, girl, you know, um, I'm in this spot and everything, you know, if you want to come out and everything, you know, and he asked me to have any other girls, you know, to perform. So I was like, okay, fine. And, you know, I got my good friends and stuff like that, you know, with no shade and no jealousy and stuff like that. So what happened was, I brought her, and she brought some friends as well. So I was like, oh, okay, that's what's up. So all of a sudden we went down to the spot and everything. We all had a meeting, you know, before the big show or the finale and stuff like that was going to take place on Sunday. And this place is located in Elizabeth, New Jersey. It was called Bombaleos. Just in case the girls will listen to this video. They'll know I'm talking to reference to them. So what happened was uh, we started to show and stuff like that. Actually, it was two spots. Well, we started the show and everything and stuff like that, and, and we were doing really good and stuff like that. I did my performance, I did their performance and stuff like that. So, we all kept going, you know, everything was going really well and really smooth. So, I um I got a call from the um the manager, you know, one who started the production of the show for the club, you know, to go in every night. 
So it was like, okay. He said, who's your friends that you brought with you? I said, those are my sisters, you know. Not my blood sisters, but you know how we do when we all, we all like sisterly bond and stuff like that. So he said, well, I've got a question for you. I was like, what? He was like, why do you call them your sister? I said, because we're like really close and stuff like that, you know, and I love them, they love me. So he tells me, he says, well, sweetie, they told me to take you out the show. They told me they didn't want you to perform there. And they also told me that no one really wants to see you perform. I was like, are you serious? They was like, he was like, yeah. He's like, Raven, I have no reason to lie to you. He says, your world and my world is two different worlds. I'm about business and profit. He says, and they told me, they had a meeting once you left and asked me to remove you from the show that, you, that no one really wanted to see you. So I was like, wow. So you know you have that wow moment where you're going, really? So you do that aha moment like, mm, this is what runs through your mind. Am I going to dress them? Am I going to stomp the bitches in the ground? Am I just going to act the fuck up? You know, you, your mind is going all over the place, especially mine. Because at that point, I was like, this fighting Barbie, honey. So the thing about it was, I was in shock. I was hurt. I was in shock. I was like, okay, another one bites the dust. And the thing about it was, he was like, well, Raven, the reason why I put the show, because I wanted the thing to work around you. So they didn't know. He was he was like a fan of mine, so he really wanted the show to be around me. And he was like, well, Raven, how could you bring people inside of a show that's bringing negativity to my show? He's like, these girls are not your friends. I don't want them. So he got rid of them. Lo and behold, he had to go away. And he left the manager of the club in charge. They went behind his back and went to the club, and then they got rid of me. So when all the plates had got built up and stuff like that, and all the fans were coming out to see me, they was asking me, why was I not performing? You know, hit me up an email and stuff like that. I was like, Raven, why are you not performing? I said, they don't want me there. They was like, well, why would you say that? They said, we all came to see you, and we're watching all these clown bitches in front of here performing. So I was like, well, you know, excuse me, get some more tissue, honey, because mother sweating. It is the bathroom. <laughs> but you know, it's better lighting. Okay. So what happened was, so what happened was, I was like, oh, okay, that's what's up. So the next thing I knew, I, I couldn't believe it. So now I wasn't doing a show and stuff like that. And I'm thinking to myself, this is a video to anyone who has friends that's in the business. Watch your friends. If you're lucky, you'll get someone that come back and tell you the truth of actually what goes on. But lots of times, girls that really want to get involved and stuff like that because that person who's going back snitching or, or saying those bad shit behind you, they need their help to try to get positions and spots inside the club as well. But then you do have those ones who don't give a fuck that's going to go back and tell you exactly what somebody been saying to you behind your back. And that's the reason why I said you got to make sure your friends are really your friends. Because the simple fact of the matter, I would have never known this information if he didn't reveal it to me. Now, remind you, he's not in that life of the gay whole thing. I mean, he was gay, but he was not in that life of, you know, of all that pageantry and political and all that bull crap. So the thing about it, it really bothered me, but I couldn't understand it. Lo and behold, the bitch calls me up. Hey, girl, what's going on? So now at this point, you're calling me up to get information to see if anything has been revealed to me. Now I understand the status that our friendship is based upon. So now you're just trying to get him feed in his reference to the club and stuff like that. So the simple fact of the matter was that, you know, I, I held my breath, I didn't say anything, I bit my tongue, and I didn't say anything. But lo and behold, the bitches still came up in my face. So one day, of course, me being who I am, I presented the information to them. And I told he said, oh no, whoever told you that was why I said, bitch, don't stand in front of my fucking face and lie to me. I said, cause bitch, right now, I'm in a fist fight, I'm in a fist fighting moment, and I will knock you the fuck out. I said, I give you one second to say one more motherfucking thing, bitch, you will hit the ground. They can throw me out this club as long as I know I whooped your ass before I left. Because that's the kind of girl I am. So anyway, the bitch stood up there, and she looked at me, she didn't say anything. You know, I was having a Tammy Roman moment. So, you know, this was an ass whooping well deserved. So the bitch stood up there, and then her friends came up. I said, bitch, I said to all y'all. I want you all to sit up here with the fuck I gotta say. And I said it to all three. That's to any one of you bitches want to jump at. You let me know what's one against many, honey. And bitch, you better believe mother can fist fight down, honey. And then go through your pockets and get my motherfucking coins for fighting. Because I don't feel as though no fight should not be rewarded, bitch. Because that's the kind of girl I am. 
And that's the reason why I tell you, you know, I shouldn't come out of character and stuff like that on you. But honey, you got to be very motherfucking careful when you got these people that's around you. Because there's a lot of wolves in snakes' clothing, honey. And they sit up there and they try to represent themselves as friends. Honey, it is all a plot. They only around you to get what you got. And once they get what they got from you, they're moving on. They act like they don't even fucking know you. All them drives and stuff like that. You said take out time to be with the motherfuckers. It was all a trick. And here it is. You thought you had a friend. Anyway. Oh, mother got reared up. <laughs> I'm just saying. Anybody who's in the music business or anybody who's in the business world, the show business world, you know where I'm coming from. Them motherfucking friends can be fierce, honey. The ones who cling so close to you and once you get to where you need to go to, honey, everybody disappears once they got a piece of the pie, honey. So I'm just saying, you know, watch your back with the ones that cling the closest to you. And make sure you are a little close with some people that may come back and tell you the truth exactly what's going on behind your back. You know, and, and that's how I feel about that. You know, and to this day now, they look at me very edgy, and they really don't speak to me and stuff like that, and they don't have to. They don't have to, because it's not that serious. You represented yourself in a position that you wanted to be. And lo and behold, let it just be known, I have no problem with nobody not liking me. But represent what you represent. If you don't like me, just don't like me. If you have a reason not to like me, just don't like me. But don't be coming up on my motherfucking face, bitch. Because a lot of times you may not walk away with just a motherfucking slap punch and a kick in the fucking grind. You may walk away going to the motherfucking hospital. Because that's the kind of bitch I am. When you fuck a bitch over a certain amount of time, honey, her whole anger management level is all out the motherfucking window. And remember, a car needs gas, bitch. It only takes two hands to drive it. And you got to be motherfucking ready for the position you stand in the front of this car. Because it may knock you the fuck out. And when it knocks you the fuck out and run you over, bitch, you're going to gag. Anyway... It is what it is. <sighs> now that I said that, and no, I'm not in a bad mood. And no, I just felt this was something that needed to be said. Because I've watched certain things happen and, and it's happened and they need to be addressed. Anyway, it is what it is. And I want to know if you've experienced it. Did you help people out and stuff like that? And they turn around and they try to push you out of spots and stuff like that. I want to hear what you have to say about that. You know, if you've done so much and you've helped people and shit like that and then they backstab you. Anyway, it is what it is. I'm out this. I'm out of here, honey. It is too hot, and the air is like, ugh. I could turn my air conditioner on, but then again, I need to sweat some of this. Ugh. I'm having menopause. <laughs> anyway, let me stop. I'm just playing. Anyway, it is what it is. This message is for anybody who's in the entertainment field. Mother has lived, and I'm only dropping a little bird in your ear. So a birdie told you. <laughs> anyway, you do you. You do you the best way you can, and if nobody don't like it, then fuck them. <laughs>